We are on the hunt for the perfect camper, specifically a Class C to tow our Jeep. And you know, we found that they were super expensive. So we decided to buy an older camper in good shape, but really outdated, and we began the renovation process. So come on in, let's take a tour of the cottage. We absolutely love how it turned out. It's just bright and beautiful and has made adventures awesome for us. But hold on, we first have to back up and start from the beginning. Everything in the camper was super dark and very outdated. So we had to start first of all with just a fresh coat of paint which did wonders. So let's head on back to the bedroom. So the colors in the master bedroom were of course very dark and it was very outdated, but we had really great bones with lots of storage space, lots of cupboards, lots of places to put things. So we got started and let me show you the magic and what we did. Here's the bedroom. In the bedroom, you'll notice in the back, we did some stick-on wallpaper in the back just to give us a splash of color. We also took down all of the window surrounds. Yeah, the factory uh, drapery kind of uh, different things that held in the different uh, um, shades and redid those with wood. Also put an accent piece to cover up the uh, wallpaper that was the wallpaper strip that was around. So the wood that we used for the window surrounds was a lightweight wood. Mm -hmm. It was light enough that we could easily put it up and it wouldn't put a lot of extra weight in the camper. However, we just used the exact footprint of the previous window surrounds the valances and matched the wood exactly to that, ripped the wood so that it would fit, and then stained it. We wanted to give it a little bit of color because we also redid all of the cabinets and painted them all white. And as we also put new hardware on the cabinets. So we went from this to this and it turned out fantastic. I love my bedroom. So my favorite room is the bathroom. Uh, not this one. This one is my favorite room. It turned out so great. One other thing that we found is uh, absolutely necessary uh, when you buy a used camper is replacing the toilet. So this toilet is the Dometic porcelain toilet and with the, with the foot pedal. And we had had one of these before that had a sprayer on the side, but those went up to like 450 bucks and the sprayer would always leak. So I actually plumbed in a different sprayer um, and I've got a, a valve where I can shut that off so we can actually uh, spray it out as we, uh, after we use it each time and make sure there's plenty of water in it. You might, you might wonder why would we want a sprayer? Are we trying to create a fancy bidet or something like that? But we are not. Actually, that sprayer is really helpful because to toilets in RVs don't always have a ton of water flowing through them. And we always wanna make sure that the toilet is really clean after every time somebody uses it so they can spray it out every single time and it stays really clean and we don't get any smell. We really did a lot to change the look of the bathroom and make it really fun and really modern looking, I think. One of the things we did was um, Stacy redid the countertop and then we added the porcelain sink with the new faucet. Let me tell you about the countertop. 
We kept the exact countertop that was in here, which saves you a lot of money. You can use the same countertop, and then we purchased countertop paint on, it's a granite looking, you can choose different kinds of granite on Amazon, and simply repainted the countertop that was already here, including the plastic edges that you'll find oftentimes in RVs, and it looks great. The only issue we had with the sink was that this sink, I really wanted a sink that looked a little more modern and a little more fun, but this sink was a little bit big for or the, the previous sink was bigger than this one. So the hole was bigger. So we simply purchased a cutting board, a plastic cutting board that looked like the granite type paint with the with counter paint and Kevin put this in. I used uh, adhesive caulk to seal it and then used very, very short screws in a couple of places just to give it an additional grip from underneath. The backsplash is a stick-on tile. It's glue, it's just, it's just you peel, peel and stick tile from Amazon. It's easy to use in campers, and the thing that's great about it is it has no weight at all. So it's very light, easy to use, and easy to clean. We also used, as we did in the bedroom, the stick-on wallpaper as well. The mirrors in the bathroom were just a plain piece of mirror with nothing around them. So we took scraps from the windows and simply glued on with construction adhesive the, the pieces, the same wood from the valances and put it around the mirrors so it would just add a little something and make it look a little more modern and a little more fun. The light fixtures in the bathroom, we simply took them off and painted them, spray painted them with spray paint. A cool feature in the this particular class, class C is that the door for the bathroom also doubles as a door for the bedroom. So if you want to keep the door, if you want the door to be shut for the bedroom and you don't want to use the little slidey things, you can simply open the bathroom door and it clips in at the top. It has a little clip that holds the door in. And the door also is used for the bathroom as well. The shower had an old, ugly gold surround and we tried to paint it, but it didn't work. So we took it out and we put up a curtain instead that looked great. The shower was also a beautiful yellow. Now the shower is made out of ABS plastic. And if you're familiar with ABS plastic, it turns yellow over time. It starts off white, but then turns yellow. It's lightweight and very durable. They use it in airplanes, and but it turns yellow. So we actually got a kit to resurface the interior of the um, shower. It's a paint. Really, we got the, the tub restoring paint. I can't think of the official name, but we purchased it at Home Depot and it really did a good job. It made our shower look brand new again. And that shower was straight up ugly. Also in the shower, we hung these clips because again, there's not a lot of places to put things in the camper, so you have to be really strategic. So we hang these clips, we put, we put these sticky clips, we got them off of Amazon, in the shower so that we can hang our things in the shower, like our broom and dustpan hangs in the shower. And then we simply just have to pull it out when we wanna use it or when we're taking a shower. So here is our before. And here is our after. I'm pretty proud of this bathroom. The living room, dining room area in this camper is my favorite area. And I think you'll see why from the pictures. It's just a great place to relax. One of the things that made the biggest difference in the camper was paint. We painted the walls, we painted the cabinets, we put new poles on the cabinet doors. And hinges. And hinges. We even painted the light fixtures that were gold. One of the things that we did that I would recommend not doing, at least just know what you're getting into, is we painted the ceiling. And in class C's, 
the ceiling is a carpet. I assured Kevin that I read and I also saw a video where they painted the ceiling, the carpet, and it wasn't a problem. Well, it was a problem for us. We came out after having painted the ceiling and all of the carpet was drooping all over the ceiling. There were lots of little bubbles all over the place where it had detached from the other part. And we, needless to say, we were not happy because I'm trying to think about how I'm gonna fix carpet on the ceiling. And when it dried, it actually pulled a lot of it back out. But we had to go around and rig up syringes with adhesive and go in and squeeze it in and roll it and then press it up with a two by four and a piece of wood to take all of that back out. It looks great now, but it was, uh, uh, I lost a little bit of hair over that one. One thing you have to remember too when you're doing the ceiling, we tried a lot of different ways to fix it with syringes, with the spray, and what we found was that the syringes worked the best. We went to the local feed store, we got a syringe, we used a large syringe, we thinned down the contact cement, and then we, ins we used the syringe to insert it into the ceiling and then we would press it up with a two by four. You have to be really careful though. Don't use too much glue at one time or it's going to leak through and you're gonna see those yellowy kind of that contact cement look. We redid the fabric on the dinette so that we recovered them just with a fabric that we liked. And we also redid the surround with the same wood from the valances. We used life-proof flooring or a, a type of flooring like that. We didn't actually use life-proof in this particular camper, but we like the way that the wood looks in the campers. We also like the, the how easy it is to clean up. But one of the things you need to make sure when you are putting down or choosing your flooring for your camper is that you want to choose flooring that is not just water resistant but waterproof because you do have sometimes where water may spill you don't want to have to deal with rotten wood underneath of that so we did use waterproof flooring it's a laminate flooring that snaps together and was really easy to to tear out the carpet we tore out all of the carpet in the camper and replaced it with the laminate flooring so that we had a that really upgrades your camper gives takes all the smell out as well if you're getting a used camper and it looks really good when you're finished one of the biggest issues you run into when you redo flooring in anything that has a slide out is how you're going to do it so that it will actually work correctly so what we did here and i did this on the first camper we had i did it differently on the second one but i left a little piece of carpet and then actually put the, um, the transition pieces and cut them and screwed them uh, quite often to make sure that it was uh, adhered down. You can see where the old carpet was. It was not a pleasant looking carpet. We just left that there uh, for now. We're probably gonna get a little bit of fabric paint to uh, put on that. But one of the problems that you will have, if you don't leave the carpet underneath the slide out, then you're gonna have to take the slide out out and do things underneath the slide out. Well, you know, I didn't really want to get into that, so uh, this was a much better way to do it. And then just use uh, uh, the transition piece to cover uh, going up. And then um, the same thing all the way around. And you can see the different areas and a little piece of carpet that's left there. So there's actually carpet that's up underneath the slide out that allows it to operate just like it did when it was from the factory. The camper came with a scissor couch that pulled out into a bed, but it's just Kevin and I, so we really didn't want the scissor couch. We got the leather recliner from Rec Pro. Mm -hmm. Yep, and it was uh, online and they delivered it, and it was not super easy to put in because you when you try to get up underneath it to sink it down there's not a lot of room and i have a very uh, a stubby uh, drill that i was able to use but even then it, it, it let's just say i cut my hands up several times 
kind of being under there to make sure that I had it secured enough to withstand if we are uh, in any kind of accident, it doesn't tear up and hit us in the back of the head. This love seat is extremely comfortable, Very comfortable. and really reclines. purchased from Amazon these little stick-on curtain rod holders but then we we stuck them on and then Kevin screwed them in so they would hold the curtain rod in place and we got a curtain that pulls across the front so when we're somewhere and it's nighttime we just pull the curtain across we have these little tiny clips it clips in the top, we clip the bottom, and it is a blackout curtain, so you can't see a thing. But we still have this hole right here, so sometimes we might wanna just really make sure it's secure. And so we bought a paper, paper blind, really for like a dollar. And we bought those, the snaps that you can put on anything really, and we put the snaps on our paper blind and then we put snaps around the hole and so we can simply snap the paper blind in place and we're completely secure you can't see anything at all and most importantly it really looks good it's really great to see things go from dull and dingy to so bright and airy and open okay so i know i said the bathroom was my favorite but so is the kitchen because it turned out really really cool i hated the original sink that was in here because it was really small so i wanted a new sink so what we did is uh, we actually ordered a black stainless steel sink with the uh, farm sink type faucet that comes out. Uh, it does a single spray or a multi spray. It's got uh, a reservoir for your dish soap. It actually has a um, rack that's in the bottom and it has many other accessories. Now if you look at this though, it's very close to the edge. There was not much room. I actually had to cut the hole out bigger to accommodate this, but there was a drawer that was right here in the front and we had several drawers on the side. So I had to do some creative stuff. I actually put magnets on there, cut the drawer out, saved the face piece. And then what you see here, there, there's some strapping that's in here. And that was the only way I could actually secure it was to go up into the holes that were in the sink for the, for the brackets and then put the strapping through and then secure it to different places uh, underneath. So uh, you can kind of see back in there where it's strapped in. Then for the drawer, I actually had to cut out the edge of the drawer so that it would still be able to be used as a drawer because you only have limited drawers. And we use that for our hot pads and, and different items that uh, we don't won't worry about falling in behind. And then this just pops back in with the uh, magnets and looks like it's an actual drawer. Another thing that we purchased that's very handy in the camper and very lightweight are these towel paper holders and they're self-adhesive ones. So we got those from Amazon. They're not very expensive, but they're really handy to have and they look good. We also like to have a lot of counter space because we actually do like to cook when we're camping so we purchased from amazon a very large cutting board that can go over the stove top so that gives us additional counter space and a lot we can cut on it and then we can easily move it when we need to move we use the stove in the kitchen 
I used a, another type of stick-on tile that's lightweight. I purchased it from Amazon and it really updates the look of your kitchen. Uh, this knife magnet was purchased from Amazon as well and uh, you just screw it on then put the, uh, uh, the exterior piece over it and then with these little knives that have the plastic covers it's easy and they're not going to cut you when, you when you have them hanging there. Sometimes in RVs you don't have quite enough light and so we purchased these battery powered lights from Amazon. We do a lot with Amazon and they just give you some additional light without a lot of all we did was stick them on there's no wiring but it gives you that additional light that you need where in spots where maybe it's a little darker especially in campers that are older there really is such a difference between the before and the after the after just really looks great last but not least is the outside of the cottage so one of the things you'll notice with campers is that the graphics can start to fade. So what we did was get spray paint and spray painted the graphics so that it would update them and make them look fresh and new again. Just taping them off and spray painting them with the same color. We used the same color. And then on the front, we actually took the graphics off the front and we put on a decal on the front. The cottage. That's what we call it, the cottage. And you can see the decals. You can see underneath it a little bit where the other decals were, were originally, but for the most part, it worked really well and actually turned out, I think it turned out pretty good. So we've now come to the end of our tour with the final before and after of the cottage. We hope you enjoyed our video and the tour of our cottage. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment on the video and please subscribe to our channel.